Hey guys, Donner13 here again. Welcome to another beer review. This time we're looking at something from Fredericton, New Brunswick. I recently got this uh, when I was up there for the Fredericton Craft or Fredericton Poutine Festival with an additive, uh, lots of craft beer. So this one is called Ben's Pale Ale. It's a growler. It's that 6.2 or 6% alcohol by volume. I don't get that. But anyways, this is from Grim Ross Brewing. There. And Maritime Crafted. Uh, Grimross.com. Really cool. Uh, yeah. Well, the only thing I wish about the ground was there bigger, but like I said, you know. But anyways, I was talking to the uh, owners of uh, this the, at the festival. Great people. Uh, I'm a real fan of the beer. Uh, their IPA is pretty damn tasty. Their stout's tasty. And the other one I'm going to be brewing tonight will be equally as tasty, I'm sure. But anyways, this is a Ben's Pale Ale. Let's give it an open. Oh, jeez. There we go. Just a little smoke off of her. Let's give it a pour. And I'm also going to be using the Afflogen, or Afflogen, whatever. Uh, chalice, because I get this at the festival as well from the rep for McCausland. Or not McCausland. Where's McCausland? I was a rep for McCausland. I just asked for if they had brought in these glasses with them, but they did not, and they usually do not give them away. So, anyways, I got this one. Pretty cool. Uh, anyways, cheers. This is, uh, like I said, Grim Ross is uh, Ben's Paleo. Let's give it a pour. I bought this on Monday. There we are. Hmm. Nice orange golden color. Uh, not overly amount of head, excuse me. Uh, yeah. A little cloudy. Medium carbonation. Let's give it a smell. Hoppy. Hoppy for sure. Floral notes. I'm also getting a, uh, uh, like a yeasty smell, almost like we uh, do from uh, Unibrew beers. Anyways. Hmm. A little lemony and honey smell. Anyways, cheers guys. Let's go right to the taste now. Again. This is more like a Belgian beer, like a Belgian pale ale. Itchy nose guys, sorry. Anyways, this is a... It's, it's along the same lines as like a Unibrew. Some of the more yeastier beers, but... The good thing about the uh, brewmaster and the brewer, he's a uh, huge fan of the uh, the Belgian, the weird Belgian yeasts and the weird tastes and, you know, the weird stuff that you can make, you know, like the uh, weird yeast that you can add to it and give it weird taste. He's kind of like a more adventurous brewer. Anyways, this one's quite good. A little citrusy. Like I said, you are getting that yeast, that yeastiness like uh, Unibrews. Medium mouthfeel, and it is 6%. A little bit of alcohol there, but it kind of adds to it. And there's a little bit of alcohol legs on the glass. Of course, it might be the, it might be the uh, hop oil as well. Anyways, yeah. So it's a BPA. Anyways, yes, this is quite good beer. Hmm. You know, I was expecting more of a more of a lighter taste, but I'm kind of surprised that it's more of a uh, 
I said more of a more of, well, obviously more of like a Belgian y like a well, Indy like an, more like an IPA, I guess like anyways, kinda hard to explain, I guess. I'm not real familiar with IPAs, really. When you when you're getting on the after taste, you're getting like a, a honey a slight the honey thickness is there on your tongue, but you're getting like a slightly floral, slightly citrusy uh, bitterness is there as well. It's sort of getting right in the back of the tongue. This one's quite good. For what it is, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of, like, IPAs and pale ales, but this one's, uh, alright. <sighs> little clove there. It's just a touch of clove. Maybe even a bit of a little, like a tiny touch of cinnamon there, too. Hmm. All in all, this one's uh, pretty tasty. I don't think I would probably wouldn't get this one again. I wouldn't buy a growler, but you know, I'll say that. If there was, like, you know, I would have it on tap at a bar or something or like that. I wouldn't go and buy a growler ever again. And for what it is, quite solid, solidly made beer. Yeah, I'm getting a little earthiness there too. Very good. Maybe for rating. I don't know. I'll go three on this one. Solid beer. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't buy it again. It's just because usually IPA is really. Or this is more of an IPA. More, more along that range. Not really my cup of tea. And I couldn't see my. I mean, I like I like one glass of IPA. One glass of a good pale ale or a good Indian pale ale, whatever. Right. And. <clears throat> One glass of this is fantastic, but anything more than that, I wouldn't be able to drink at all. And yeah, I mean, yeah, three, I guess. Yeah, my, you know what? I'll go three, two, five on this one. It's it's good. I would I would drink this over a lot of other pale ales for sure. But anyways, anyway, guys, yeah. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> cheers. I'm a little tired of work today. I'm itchy and full of dust. But uh, cheers, guys, and we'll see you in a bit for the next one. Right on.